Now, everyone wants a lush lawn, but how do you get it? Gary Lezak has learned some things from lawn and garden expert Toby Tobin. That's right. Once you've seeded and fertilized, you need four things for a perfect lawn. Throw out everything you've been taught because we are going to break some yard rules, starting with this. It's supposed to be a tie. A tin pie pan, but they tell me this is a cake pan. Oh, it's a brownie pan. Or It'll something. work. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's see Toby Tobin. A thick carpet of green. That's what we all want, but how do we get it? Watering is huge. Lawn expert Toby Tobin states the obvious. If you want grass to grow, you have to water it. But there's also something else that's vital. All plants, whether they're trees or shrubs or flowers or vegetables or grass, need oxygen. Every time we water or it rains, the oxygen in the soil is forced out. And if we have a heavy rain and you continue to water, there's no oxygen that can re-enter, and then you start having plant death. Too much water can actually kill your grass. So how much water does your grass need each week? It depends on the season. Bluegrass and fescue needs an inch of water in the spring, an inch of water in the fall, and an inch and a half of water per week in the summertime. The saying used to be water deep and the roots go after it, but Toby says university research disputes that. While bluegrass and fescue both start the summer with 10 to 12 inch root systems, Systems, bluegrass roots turn shallow by the 1st of July with only one to two inches of roots. The right amount of water is crucial for grass survival. This just blows my mind is people will be out watering the next day after we've had two inches of rain. <laughs> so you have to have a rain gauge, you record your rainfall onto a calendar and then you know in any one given week that yard needs an inch or an inch and a half of water, and what Mother Nature hasn't provided, you have to provide with your sprinklers. Since each sprinkler system is different, you need to figure out how long it takes to generate a half inch of water. Grab a tin pie pan and place it midstream after it reaches about a half of an inch. at the right height. Bluegrass and fescue are most commonly grown around here. Fescue should be mowed, mowed higher in the summer than bluegrass. And most people think the reverse. Toby showed me how to tell the difference. Go to your driveway or the sidewalk near your house. Pick a blade that has not been cut. If it's rigid and has little lines running through it like this one, then that's fescue. Now, if it's smooth and it rounds out like a boat, sort of like a canoe, that's bluegrass. Fescue should be mowed in the summertime at least three and a half inches high. If your mower went to four inches, that would be better. Bluegrass can be mowed at three inches in the summer. So, a rain gauge, calendar, pie pan, and mower. The four things you need to grow a lush lawn. Now here's one last tip also that goes against common belief. Do not water in the evening. Water at noon if you want to. In fact, Toby says anytime from morning until 2 p.m. is fine. Watering in the evening promotes disease, although it rained today. You don't have to water for a while. <laughs> now, our lousy, uh, the winner of our lousy lawn contest. We want to thank everyone for entering. It goes to Scott Marcos, and this oh, is his wow. lawn. Scott, what happened? No grass. Yes. Amazing? Yeah. Now, Scott has won $1,500 gift card to be redeemed at Nuts and Bolts. And True Value Hardware uh, in Overland Park, and he's going to get a lawn consultation with Toby Tobin. Excellent. So, right, congratulations to Scott Marcos.